Hi, it's Gabrielle. And Elise. Hey, Gabrielle, do you know what we're doing today? What? We're mapping the stands. countries in Central Asia. You know, the ones that end in stand, like Afghanistan and Pakistan. Well, why do they all end in stand? Good question, Gabrielle. Stand is an ancient word meaning land. So it's similar to the names of countries in Europe like England, Poland, Finland, and Ireland. Well, I know that Central Asia lies between China, Russia, and Europe. The region is a geographical crossroads. In fact, the famous Silk Road went right through Central Asia. Let's get on to each country. We'll start with Kazakhstan. Kazakh means wanderer. So altogether, the actual name would be wanderer land. In fact, Kazakhs were the first people in the world to ride horses. And now they're wandering into space. Kazakhstan launches a lot of rockets. In fact, the first manned rocket into space was launched here. Now on to Uzbekistan. Green tea is their national hot beverage. Tea houses are an important part of the culture. The city of Bukhara is more than 2,000 years old. It's the most complete medieval city in Central Asia. Let's go to Kyrgyzstan. Over 90% of the country is rugged mountain ranges. The people there love horse milk. It's their national drink. Turkmenistan is our next country. Most of the country is covered by the Karakun Desert. Here, electricity and gas are free. Most people don't even bother to turn their stoves off. Time for Tajikistan. Dushanbe is the capital. Dushanbe means Monday. It was named Monday because the capital grew from a village that had a popular market on that day of the week. Tajikistan has the largest glacier in the world outside of the polar region. Next, we have Afghanistan. It's rich in natural resources like silver, zinc, gold, copper, and iron. It's also rich in delicious food. And meals are not complete without naan. A yummy flatbread. Finally, there's Pakistan, where you'll find the second tallest mountain, K2. And climbing on that mountain, you'll find Pakistan's national animal, the markhor. Pakistan is also the home to Malala, the youngest ever Nobel Peace Prize winner. There it is, Central Asia. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos that are coming up.
the most important piece in our puzzle is you. Be sure to like. Tell us what you think. And share us with your friends. And of course, subscribe.